Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss introduction to branch and bound technique. Branch and bound technique is one among the important algorithmic problem solving techniques. Already, we have discussed a few algorithmic problem solving techniques. One is brute force technique. Next, we have discussed divide and conquer. Next, we have discussed greedy technique, dynamic programming. Next, we have discussed backtracking technique. These are all the important algorithmic problem solving techniques already we have discussed with examples. The next important algorithmic problem solving technique is branch and bound technique. This branch and bound technique is similar to backtracking technique. That is, backtracking technique will solve the problem based on the construction of the state space tree. Similar to backtracking technique, this branch and bound technique also solves the problem based on the construction of the state space tree. In backtracking technique, how it will construct the state space tree? Construction of the state space tree will start with the initial root node. That will be considered as the initial partial solution. From that initial solution, it will consider to construct the next level component by satisfying the problem constraint. So, whenever adding any component that provides the feasible solution in the sense, the procedure continues until it reaches a dead end. The dead end means whenever adding that particular component does not satisfy the problem constraint in the sense, it reaches a dead end. So, whenever it reaches a dead end, backtrack to the previous level and consider the other possibilities from that level. Okay. Likewise, the procedure continues in backtracking. Similar to backtracking technique, this branch and bound technique also constructs the state space tree to find the optimal solution. The branch and bound technique is a method of systematically searching a solution by constructing the state space tree. Okay. And the main aim of the branch and bound technique is it will try to find the optimal solution always. And the solution starts by generating the partial solution. That is the state space tree if you are constructing in the sense initially it will start with the partial solution. This is partial solution. From this partial solution it will try to add an item if this item satisfies the problem constraint. This is called feasible solution. Next, next level, it will try to add an item if this item tries to provide the feasible solution. Suppose, if the addition of this item does not proceed to provide the feasible solution in the sense, discard this item. Okay. And whenever you are adding an item in the sense, it has to provide the feasible solution. Otherwise, discard that item. Likewise, the construction of the state space tree will proceed in branch and bound technique. This branch and bound technique is mainly used for solving optimization problems. Optimization is nothing but either the solution part should be maximized or minimized. That is called optimization problem. There are two categories of optimization problem. One is minimization problem and another one is maximization problem. Minimization problem if you are considering in the sense the main aim of that particular problem, the value should be minimized. And a maximization problem, if we are considering in the sense, the main aim of that particular problem here, value should be maximized. That is, the solution value should be maximized. In minimization, solution value should be minimized. The best example for minimization problem is traveling salesman problem. What is traveling salesman problem? The salesman will start from the initial city that is called starting city from that city he has to visit all other cities in the given graph and he has to return back to the starting city again okay and here the main aim is the total cost of the tour should be minimum so this comes under minimization problem and the maximization problem if you are considering in the sense example knapsack problem in knapsack problem Items will be given and what is the maximum capacity of the knapsack bag that will be given. Okay and profits also will be given for each item. We have to select and place an item into the knapsack such that the capacity it should not exceed the maximum capacity. Also the profit should be maximized. Profit should be maximized. We have to select and place an item into the knapsack such that profit should be maximized. and also. 
the bag capacity it should not exceed the maximum capacity okay so this knapsack problem comes under the maximization problem both the problems we will discuss under branch and bound technique already these problems we have discussed under the dynamic programming technique also and greedy technique also the standard terminology of optimization problems one is feasible solution and another one is optimal solution what is the difference between the feasible solution and optimal solution a small difference only feasible solution is nothing but point in the problem search space that satisfies all problem constraint that is the solution obtained by satisfying all problem constraint in the sense all the solutions will be considered as a feasible solution for a single problem many feasible solutions are possible okay for example in knapsack problem if you are considering the main constraint here is we have to select and place an item into the knapsack such that it should not exceed the maximum capacity okay without exceeding the maximum capacity whatever the item whatever the combination of item you are selecting and placing into the knapsack all will be considered as a feasible solution different combination also it is possible that will not exceed the maximum capacity in the sense all the combination of solution will be considered as the feasible solution but optimal solution is nothing but it should be a feasible solution the solution should be a feasible solution with the best value of the objective function what is the objective function for example in same knapsack if you are considering in this sense what is the main objective of the knapsack problem profit should be maximized constraints does not exceed the maximum capacity addition of item does not exceed the maximum capacity but what is the main objective function here in the sense the profit the total profit should be maximized okay for any problem many feasible solutions are possible among those feasible solution which one maximizes the total profit that is which one provides the best value of the objective function that is nothing but the optimal solution so for any problem many feasible solutions are possible by satisfying the problem constraint okay but the feasible solution with the objective function in this is that is called optimal solution okay now you understand the difference between feasible solution and optimal solution next in branch and bound technique there are two additional requirements compared to backtracking technique in backtracking technique if you are considering in this is we will try to add the next level component whenever it does not provide the feasible solution just we will stop there and we will backtrack to the previous level and we will try the other possibilities to find the feasible solution that is backtracking but in branch and bound technique what we will do it in the sense for every node of the state space tree for example here this is the this is the root node of the state space tree we will try to add the next level component okay every node of the state space tree a branch on the best value of the objective function on any solution can be obtained by adding further component to the partially constructed solution represented by the node that is we will find the best value of the objective function and that will be added as a component next level component in the state space tree okay so in every level we will try the best level component and that will be added as the next level component in the state space tree here how we will obtain the best level component or best solution in the sense compare nodes bound value with the value of the best solution seen so far okay see here whenever you are finding the best solution here in the sense if you are obtaining a best solution previously in the sense we need to obtain a best one compared to that we need to obtain a better one in that case you can add that component okay compare a nodes bound value with the value of the best solution seen so far if the bound value is better to provide the feasible solution in the sense add that node if you are adding this item it will find it will try to find the feasible solution in the sense add that item suppose if the bound value is not better than the best solution in the sense discard this one don't add that item to as the next level component to the state space okay 
So here in branch and bound technique, what it will do it in the sense each level, it will try to find the best value solution. If it is a best value solution and adding that value will try to provide the feasible solution in the sense add that item. Suppose if you are adding that item and that does not proceed to provide the feasible solution in the sense, just discard that item there itself. Don't add that item into the state space tree. This is the important requirement in branch and bound technique. Like backtracking, we won't backtrack to the previous level and all here. Okay. If it is a best value solution, then the previously obtained solution in the sense add that item. If it is not a best value solution in the sense, discard that item. That is branch and bound technique. In branch and bound technique, how the search path will be terminated at the current node in a state space tree? That is, value of the nodes bound is not better. That is, we will find the best solution in previous level. Okay. Suppose the value of the nodes bound is not better than the previous level best solutions in the sense. Just to discard that. Just to terminate that node. And also, if the node does not represent a feasible solution. How we will obtain a feasible solution? The solution satisfies the problem constraint in the sense that is called feasible solution. Suppose, if the solution does not satisfy the problem constraint in the sense, automatically we can discard that item. Okay, if it, if it does not represent the feasible solution in the sense, we can terminate that node. Okay, in two cases, we can terminate that node. That is, compared to the previous level best solution, whatever the solution you obtained currently, that is not best in the sense, automatically discard. Second thing is, if the solution does not satisfy the problem constraint in the sense, maybe that may not a feasible solution. Okay, in that case, it, we can discard. Okay. In those two cases, we can terminate the search path at the current node in the state space tree. And what are all the problems we are going to discuss under branch and bound techniques? One is traveling salesman problem. Next, assignment problem, job assignment problem. Third one is knapsack problem. So, these are all the three problems we are going to discuss under branch and bound technique. So, in the next session, we will discuss the first problem under branch and bound technique that is traveling salesman problem. Thank you for watching this video.